<clears throat> okay, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. Now it's dark right now. It's, in, it's about uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm doing this recording. That's why it's all black. So Salakia, that there's no uh, no still, no image or anything. You know, I'm in my front room. Uh, the spirit jumped on me and said, record this dream I just had. So I won't forget it just in case I doze back off. So this recording is really for myself so I can remember in the next few hours. Um, okay, inside this dream, um, there was a, um, a, a gigantic UPS truck that picked up my wife and I think my, I have four kids. Uh, so it picked up two of my kids. I think it was two of my, uh, my two daughters and took them to get vituals, you know, for the house, because we needed this. Um, I didn't go, I don't know why I didn't go. You know, I didn't know th th these people, but I, you know, I felt like I knew them and they took them shopping fast. You know, by the time I sat down in my car, they already had dropped the food off they went shopping, went upstairs, dropped the food off, and it was taking them back to get some more food. Um, that's what I remember. They didn't tell me, but I just knew. So I just let let let, let them go. And I sat inside my vehicle. And when I sat inside my vehicle, I just remember um, a few people walking across the street. Um some Edomites were around, some Jake was around. The next thing you know, the people just started turning on each other. And I mean, they when they started turning, they was like, it was just like simple, just arguing about petty stuff. You know, why did you do this? You know, one elderly couple, I remember the man started going off on his woman because his car wouldn't start after they came out the restaurant. And he would start saying, it's because of you, because of this dinner. Everything is because of you. It's like everybody started complaining to each other. It's because of you. It's because of you. It's because of you. They just complaining, complaining to each other. So they started fighting. So I, this one couple started fighting. And the children runs to my car. Now I'm looking at everything. I'm sitting in my car. And they bang on my window for help. You know, and the father of this family, I mean, he was going upside the head and I could have swore he was pulling out some type of weapon. So the mother run over, she banging, help, help, help. And the kids banging, help. And I'm like, hell no, I locked my door because I'm looking around. Everybody's going crazy. And uh, uh, it looked like they was looking at my vehicle. I don't know if I was the only one with a car that worked, you know, but I started backing up. And I started pulling out of the driveway to escape. And as I'm pulling out, I see other couples arguing, they arguing and fighting. And it's just, it's just arguing, just, it's just turning up to, to violence. And then next thing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull out. So they block in my car. And then whoever that was that was driving my wife around appeared to me. And took me out of the car. Like, we walked through the car. You know, I didn't put the car in park or anything. It just swooped me. I don't know if it just took my spirit. It just took me out. And we started, we ended up in another location. And we started walking. And this location was no fighting, nothing. You know, it was some people in there moving. It looked like a mall. You know, it was really lit. It was light. And we walking. And I remember walking and I'm carrying, you know, a sandwich. It's this, this, it's a nice, nice, healthy sandwich. I remember, you know, um, big, like a, a Jersey Mike, something, something hefty. And it was, it was hot. And it, it was, it was for this person. Now this person actually turned into Elder Yashawamba from Dallas, Texas. 
And that's why I say I, I, this, this had to be an angel. You know, why he was choosing these different faces, I don't know. But, um, you know, I listen to the elder a lot. You know, I get a lot of, you know, um, understanding and through the scriptures and stuff, you know, from the, you know, elder there. So I, it might be why he chose to use his face. You know, so he has his face on. So it looks like the elder Yashua. So he, he's, he's, um, he's, he's, he said, just carry the sandwich. You know, he said, that's my sandwich. We're walking. He said, that's my sandwich. He said, your sandwich is inside the truck. He's, you know, and I was looking around. There was some other, you know, Aki and Woodham, and they, everybody had a sandwich. <clears throat> it was wrapped in his for you. And he was like, you know, big, healthy sandwiches. And he was telling, like, mine's, that's it. I was carrying his, but mine's is inside the truck where I guess we were going to. So we walk in, and then he started to detail that he knows my, you know, I have a few, 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 I'm not as healthy as I should be, you know, I got some elements going on in my body, you know, allergies, you know, you know, we try to regulate our blood pressure, you know, any elements we picked up from the world, you know, we come into this thing sick. So he knew it. So he said he was telling me about my sicknesses, you know, and my elements. And he said um, the brothers in in Dallas, Texas, are suffering sickness too. He said they're suffering elements, including himself. And when he was saying himself, he was pointing at Elder Yashalumba, you know. So I'm assuming he's battling elements too. And then he started telling me about my my yoke fella, you know, uh, them yad in the spirit. He said. Um, he knows that them yacht is having serious car trouble and that he he has a sickness in his body too. It's like we all got this same sickness. I don't know what brothers have, you know, maybe, you know, the Aki don't even know what they got. But he was saying, we all got the same sickness. We're sick. And I, as he was breaking this down, I knew he was talking about the flesh because for some reason, you know, um, I did salute him, and I remember saluting him, saying, yeah, I will watch him, I will because he had on, I thought it was Joshua Wamba at first, but I couldn't touch him, and I, so I went to pound him, he said, no, no, he said, he said, he said, it said it was something about uncleanness, I think I was un too, too unclean to touch him, but I remember he said, don't, don't worry about pounding, don't worry about pounding, but he did salute me, then he started to uh, detail, this is when it started to get heavy, he started to detail the transition we about to go through. Akim, Akim, Akim. We about to get out of here, man. We about to get out of here. He started to detail how we gonna leave these bodies. I can't remember exactly, but he, he told me to hold on. And he told me to tell um, my Akim Yad, hold on. He, he knows what everybody's going through, he said, hold on. He said, the transition is about to happen and it's about to happen soon. And he said, we're going to leave these bodies. He said, we're going to leave these bodies and we're going to go into these new bodies. And he was starting detailing, but I can't remember. I can't remember. That's why I'm doing this recording now because I was laying on my bed. And, I, you know, it was too, you know, early in the morning to call up my arc about this. I didn't want to bother my wife because she kind of woke up for a minute. Sometimes I'll tell her my my dreams or visions, you know, but I had to uh, get this out and just get this on record, you know, before I forget if I got it all. But he did say the time is now. The time is now. And um, we're walking back to the, the brown UPS truck that he initially had my uh, family in. You know, that the food shopping was done. He said, that's where my sandwich is. And I take that sandwich as being, you know, the food, the word. Man should not live by bread alone. You know, so he's telling me about the transition. We're going to go up. We're going to leave these bodies. But we got to hold on. You know, now as we going back to the truck, all hell is still is outside. But we're just walking through it right now. I'm just listening. You know, I'm, the sandwich is like really, really, really warm. So it's, it's it's hot, but it's not burning my hand. But it's like, I'm still thinking like, damn, this sandwich ain't going to cool off. This thing is hot. So as I go to passing the sandwich and get to the truck, boom, I, I, I wake up. So um, 
that's that's this that's the dream right there, man. I'm tired. You know, we know the scriptures, Joel two, you know, um uh twenty eight and twenty nine, you know, Acts two, I think it's twenty eight. You know, I don't have my scriptures in front of me right now, you know, about the uh the dreams and visions, you know, and we know about the transition of the new bodies that's coming, you know, um, First Thessalonians 4 and 16, we about to go up to meet our Lord in the air. You know, uh, First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the whole 15th chapter, which details, you know, goes into the resurrection. You know, before you get the bodies, you got to believe in the resurrection, you know, and then it goes into us defeat and sin. And that's that's the chapter I'm going to read later when I get up, because he was taught detailing these bodies and how they're sick. We all sick, Akim. As y'all know, you know, we all sick, you know. We so sick, we can't even touch the angels because he went and let me touch him, you know, give him a pound, you know, but he did give a salute. Um, and we got to, we're we about to leave, you know. So the, so, so the trouble is about to start. Everything is about to pop off. But salvation, call the Lord, y'all botching me out, shot. You know, it's about to happen. I'm not saying, like, you know, um, that's a definite that, you know, I'm going to be saved and, you know, the rest of the Akim is going to be saved. But one thing he did say, hold on. He said, hold, he understand. Everybody's going through everything. All kind of stuff, physically, mentally, spiritually. You know, you're fighting, you know, your vehicles are falling apart. You know, they know it all. They said, hold on. On, so I'm gonna leave it right there, man. I'm gonna go try to go back and get a, you know, a few more, you know, hours. Whatever I gotta get up in about two more hours anyway. So I'm gonna give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.